For the first time in 67 years, a debutante will play in the grand final. We went out the tour, I didn't believe it. Probably still can't believe it. Believe it or not, his family is already on their way from Western Australia. My dad's scared of hobbling on planes, but <laughs> he's facing his fears and guess I'm facing mine. It's a remarkable story for the 27-year-old who was recruited mid-season and during his teenage years spent time in prison. Obviously he's had a, um, you know, a, a history in his life that's been troubled as well that he's been able to overcome to get to AFL. Also a source of inspiration to the Tigers, Jack Higgins, who is recovering from brain surgery, joined his teammates at Punt Road. I think one thing this group has more than anything and more than any other team that I've faced is resilience. Just eight years into the club's existence, the Giants and their fans are counting down to a historic maiden grand final. There's a little, few goosebumps, so I, you know, when you think about it, but um, the reality is our footy club um, really was put here in Western Sydney to grow the game. The stage is set and despite a strict stay off the grass rule, AFL CEO Gillan McLaughlin tested the surface with Paul Kelly. I just didn't think they were going to run down and haul us off with all this camera here, so I thought we were, we were going to get away with it. The question is, will Marlon Pickett participate in his second medal presentation in a week, this time at the G? And Richmond, we got it, boy!